makers of Swift's premium new frozen packaged meats, fries, and poultry. Look to Swift for the finest. Swift to serve your family better. And American Motors, builders of Rambler, Nash, and Hudson Automobiles, and Kelvinator Home Appliances. Present Walt Disney's Disneyland. When you wish on a star, makes no difference who you are. Each week as you enter this timeless land, one of these many worlds will open to you. Adventureland, the wonder world of nature's own realm. Fantasyland, the happiest kingdom of them all. Frontierland, tall tales and true from the legendary past. Tomorrowland, promise of things to come. Presenting this week from Tomorrowland, our friend the Adam. Many years ago, a prophetic writer and engineer told of the genius of one man who discovered the very power of the universe and harnessed it to propel his ship 20,000 leagues under the sea. But the hero of that story was afraid to let this power fall into the hands of an immature mankind. And so he chose rather to destroy his own work. has a way of becoming fact. Not long ago, we brought you the immortal tale, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, featuring the famous submarine Nautilus. According to the story, this craft was powered by a magic force. Today, that tale has come true. This is a model of the real Nautilus, the world's first atom-powered ship. It's the first example of the useful power of the atom that will drive the machines of our atomic age. The atom is our future. It is a subject everyone wants to understand. So we felt it was the most important topic for a Tomorrowland program. In fact, we considered it so important that we embarked on several atomic projects. For one, we made plans to build an exhibit at Disneyland that will show you atomic energy in action. Now our atomic projects here at the studio are twofold. We prepared this program and also a book so that we could tell you this important story in full detail. Both grew together. We gave them the same title and many of the illustrations appear in both. As you can see, we found ourselves deep in the field of nuclear physics. Of course, we don't pretend to be science. We're storytellers. So we combine the tools of our trade with the knowledge of experts. We added a nationally known scientist to our staff to head our new science department. His first assignment was to write the book on the atom and to help us in developing this program. And here to tell you the story of our friend the atom is the author of our book, Dr. Heinz Haber. As we developed our story of the atom, we made an amazing discovery. We had a science story, but suddenly we realized that it was almost like a fairy tale. By a strange coincidence, our story turned out to be like the old fable from the Arabian Nights, the fisherman and the genie. It lies in our own hands to make wise use of the atomic treasures. Then the magic touch of the genie will spread throughout the world and he will grant the gifts of science to all mankind. The 
great scientists before us gave us knowledge of the atom. And our last wish will come true if we use the power of this knowledge in their spirit. Then the atom will become truly our friend. Next week, our show from Fantasyland will be all about magic. And who better to tell it than our old friend, the Magic Mirror? Here now, a few scenes from that program. Next week, Walt Disney tells you all about magic. Bibbity, bobbity, boo. He'll take you through the enchanted door to the magic prop room, where the age-old tricks of ledger domain are used to conjure the fantastic effects you see in movies and on television. The flowering chafing dish. Bibbity, bobbity, boo. Take it off and you have a beautiful centerpiece. The decapitated princess and the magic mirror, whence once again, Walt summons its slave to tell you the darkest secrets of the magic arts he has learned from wizards and witches down through the ages. Coming, master, I'm coming. As I gaze around this room, I'm reminded of many tales of magic that I would like to tell. And tell them he does. You'll see Mickey doing his sleight of hand despite the raucous heckling of a suspicious Donald. In a more romantic mood, you'll meet Cinderella and her fairy godmother, whose magic wand transforms Cinderella into the fairest beauty in the land. Oh, it's a beautiful dress. You'll meet a real live witch, Hazel, who convinces Donald that not even he can cope with the supernatural. No, you made old Hazel mad. I'll cast a spell that's double grim. Now take a longer shot. About a mile or two. Get ready, kids. Here we go. Finally, you'll see how witches and sorcerers learn their trade when the wizardry of the studio and the magic artistry of Leopold Stokowski and the Philadelphia Symphony Orchestra combine to bring you The Sorcerer's Apprentice. you'll see how all the resources of the supernatural, the tricks of the trade of wizards and goblins, become everyday tools in the hands of Walt Disney. Bibbity, bobbity, boo. Next week in Fantasyland, when he tells you all about magic. Next week, Disneyland will be brought to you by Peter Pan Peanut Butter. Now made a new way. It's the smoothest spreading in the land. And your local dairy farmers in this area, through the American Dairy Association, reminding you to drink one, two, three glasses of milk a day. You never outgrow your need for milk. picture theaters everywhere, you'll be able to see for the first time Walt Disney's new Technicolor feature, Westward Ho! The Wagons. It's a new and different outdoor drama telling the exciting story of the covered wagon families fighting their way west, told against a background of spectacular scenic beauty in Cinemascope and Technicolor. Westward Ho! The Wagons. Now, you and your family can see this exciting motion picture entertainment in a theater or drive-in nearby. Look in your newspaper for theater names and showtimes. This has been an ABC Television Network film presentation.